There is a bite. I'm on! Shut up! Yeah! You can see the bites on this uh, on this rock with the whole squid. Bite. See the bite on this rock. There is a bite on this rock. Dog feet! I put the back over and I got the dog feet. Fish. I don't know why I lose them. Why I lose the fish? What's going on? I have the fish, I feel it, I play with him, I bring him up like a little bit and then it's out. It's a better one. That's a bit better. Yeah. It's a bongo for sure. Like pop up pop. <laughs> I recognize the food. Yeah, big one. A drug. My best conger ever, I think. Yeah, look at him. Oh god. I have to cut the line. Beautiful morning. Trolling a Rapala a deep diver on my way in to meet John. He's uh, a mile out. Nothing so far. Long day. I hope I can show you fish. How do you fish right now? You jigging? Yeah, I see fish on the sauna. Yeah, I'm... I can't find it. I can't find it. <laughs> yeah, it's very difficult when it's not a specific mark. Is it very big? Probably, it's not big. Or, it's been eaten by the fish. <laughs> <laughs> I want to pass on it if I can, and then to see if there is anything there. Beautiful day. I'm just above it, but I can't see it. So I prepare now. As you can see, my sabiki rig with uh, tipped with a stripe of uh, frozen squid. What I start with when I bait fishing, and I don't know what's down there, and I'm not sure um, how to fish. So I try to see what's going on out, uh, down there with, with the sabiki and, and squid usually you will have uh, some bite but uh, let's give it a try sabiki with a three ounce lead uh, on the spinning rod so it's a small uh, it's a light tackle I'll give it 10-15 minutes see what's happening and then I'll decide what to do John is anchored just left of me. You can see everything. Oh, there is a bite. I'm on! Yeah. I told you with the Sabika you have to check out what's going on. But it's a whiting. The whiting are fighting. It's gone. I have some bite on this uh, on this rod, and uh, it's a bigger hook. It's a, a whole squid or half a squid, but I think it's a whiting that's been hooked uh, on it already. Maybe it's a whiting, maybe nothing. Yeah. Whiting on the panel. 
I told you, I saw the bite. He got hooked on the on the panel hook, and he took also the four o hook inside his mouth. He took both of them. This is a whiting. So if you never saw whiting in your life, you can see one now. You will see a lot during the winter. By the way, it's marked. Oops, it's marked here. Someone tried to uh, go for it. There's some scars. This is how I keep my uh, catch. I decided to take this whiting. Uh, if I catch only whiting today, I have few for dinner. Um, so what I do, I have um, Listerine bottles uh, full of uh, water, which is basically ice that cool this uh, Costco bag. And I have umbrella um, umbrella bags that you can buy online. They're quite thin, so you need to make sure not to break them. But usually after I blood, after I bleed the, the fish, I just, I can put maybe two like this inside, because I don't want it to mess my bag. And that's it. And that's I keep, that's I put back. Um, Side and you keep it cool all day long, and the bag stays not uh, filthy. Easier to clean it after. It's a better one. Think it's a conger. It's definitely a conger. Oh, I'm losing them. How do I lose them again? Macaroni squid. Let's send it down. Dogfish. I put the mackerel and I got the dogfish, but it released, it released itself, it's unbelievable. I can't talk today anything. I don't know why. It's a hill. Fish. No. Bite on this rod. I let it develop because I uh, constantly get the bites. I hook set, start to reel in, fill the fish, and then I lose it. I give you another bait ready. Squid and mackerel combo. Another conger. Those traps ruined my line. Up, 
Thank, thank you very much. He <laughs> got released by itself. The story of my day today, all, the, all my fish got released by themselves. It's another strap. Off he goes. Not a stop. I lost it. No, it's there. <laughs> Another one. Found a couple of bits over there that are four foot deep higher. Again? Four foot higher, some parts. Deeper, you mean? Yeah, a bit different. Very rough ground, isn't it? I don't think, I think it's like a mix. Here I caught a lot of place. Well, here. Yeah, I mean the same ground, like maybe, you know, this the same area. Very rough, isn't it? Yeah. Rocky, yeah, very. See, small one. Another small one. Conga? Yeah. That's a bit better. Loads of them, isn't there? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's a conga for sure. <laughs> I recognize their pool. They are like pop up, pop up. Like life, right? uh, but that's the, that's the biggest one so far. That's two one, right? Yeah. Look at the rod. Just don't fall because I want to see you. Look, it turns me. My God. Ah. Yeah, big one. My God. This is my best conger ever, I think. What do you do, John? How do you release them? Every time you cut the line when it's a big one? I've been cutting the line. Huh? I've been cutting the line, I can get you up there. Really? I, I, I have, I can get them out. They yeah. Down the road place, didn't they? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, took it all. Ah. Loads of them here, isn't there? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think that there are going to be so many of them. But, they're here. I have to cut the line. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, look at them. My God. This fish. I've got a nice fish on the lure. I have a conger on the lure. Ah, go. Conger on the lure. Phew. <laughs> on the lure, yeah. Which lure? Sandil? A uh, big lead perk. Oh, really? Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it. Come back. 
Wherever you are, come back. He came back, it's a small strap. No, it's a nice white thing. Yeah, I'm pleased with it, tell you the truth. Nice. Amazing. I mean, you have to get used to it. At the beginning, I get some problems, but, yeah. you know.